If 90 students auditioned for the school musical, how many were accepted? Well, statement number one tells us two-thirds of the boys and one-third of the girls who auditioned were accepted. So we know that this 90 was somehow broken into boys and girls, maybe others also, both boys and girls, and we know that two-thirds of the boys were accepted and one-third of the girls were accepted, but we have no idea of the relative breakdown. We have no idea if it was just six boys who auditioned and, and 84 girls, or 84 boys who auditioned and only six girls, or 45 and 45. We have no idea of the breakdown. So by itself, this statement does not allow us to answer the question. Statement number two simply tells us 26 boys were accepted. Well, we have no idea. We know the, the boys who auditioned were either all of that 90, maybe it was all boys who auditioned and 26 were accepted, Maybe there were only 26 boys who auditioned, and each and every one of them was accepted, and there were also girls accepted. We have no idea. So this statement by itself, without any other information, is insufficient. Now, if we combine the information, very interesting. If we combine the information, we know that 26 are accepted, and that 26 is two-thirds of the number of boys who auditioned. And so that means the number of boys who audition, the boys who audition, has to be 39. Well, now, if the boys who auditioned are 39, that means the other people who auditioned are 90 minus 39, which is 51. Now, in the very heter heteronormative world of the GMAT, we're going to have to assume that everyone who is not a boy is a girl. And again, this is not an assumption that we always make in the world. It would be actually an insensitive assumption in some places. But for the purposes of this problem, we'll say that there are 51 girls who auditioned. And of those girls, a quarter, of, a third of them were accepted. So then we'd know, we could figure out from that the number of girls accepted. We could add that to 26, which is the number of boys accepted and we would be able to figure out the number of students who were accepted. And again, we don't have to go through this calculation. It is enough to know that, yes, we would be able to perform the calculation. We have sufficient information. So combined, the statements are sufficient, and the answer is C.